John. How can this happen again? Yes. We go way back. Since our freshman year at U of A. And I've been blocking for you ever since, right? Right. So I can tell you how I feel inside, right? Right. Spencer's sleep? He is. I've been trying to hold it together. But it isn't easy, bro. Becky's gone. Don't think of me or Becky or what's happened in the past or why it's happening again. It just is. Think of Spence. He doesn't need his whole world turned upside down because you can't hold it together. Well, how are you going to do that? Gus, listen. Look at me. Trust me, I can deal with this. But I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Spence is going to look you right in the eye either tomorrow or the next day, and he's going to talk to you about his mother. You know he will. You can't be sad in front of him, all right? All right. You know how much you care, Gus. You know how much you care. You can do this. All right. Gus, remember at Stanford game, senior year? I fumbled the ball, you picked it up and ran the wrong way. <clears throat> Never asked you this, but didn't it feel strange that no one else was chasing you but me? I thought that you were cheering me on until you tackled me on the two-yard line. It's a tough decision. Either let you score two points for the wrong team or tackle you before you cross the line. Now it's third and 98. The very next play, you run 98 yards for a touchdown. I have 44 slot right off the left tackle. Big Gus McPhillamy, number 75 from Jersey. You pancaked that defensive end. Everyone's gone. I was pissed. You were. See you tomorrow, Gus. I broke.